Okay, um, e4. Uh, let's try a um, let's try a Sicilian again. He'll probably play f4. That's his. That's what he likes. E4, e4, f4. I'll try d5. He used to play e, previously bit knight c3, but e d is okay. So knight f6 now. It's a pawn sacrifice. C4, e6, and uh, we'll play a pawn down. Um, okay, so it gives the pawn back. Check. I could play knight c6, I could play bishop d7. Maybe bishop d7. It doesn't Check. hang anything. It almost hangs everything. Wow. I just realized. Uh, queen e2. Queen e7 hangs and hangs everything. Queen e7, knight takes d5, bishop takes b5. Queen, knight takes e7, bishop takes e2. Seems like I'm hanging a lot of material. Maybe I should just bail out and try to survive this. Knight to five. Okay. Um, I think it's okay because I think I can play bishop takes b5. Queen takes b5. And I'm not hanging anything. Knight c6. Knight takes e7. Bishop takes b5. We gotta be careful there's no knight f6 mate, but there is no knight f6 mate. Takes b5, queen takes, and knight comes to c6. Okay, if takes b5, queen takes b5. This knight comes to c6, he can take the pawn on b7. But this knight comes to c6, uh, he can take the pawn on b7. No. And, if, and then if queen takes, the rook hangs, and if knight takes, the, the piece hangs. So it's almost like we have to play... I think bishop c6 is is okay. There's a threat to the knight, and he must take. He must do something about it. Okay, so the game, the game goes on. Castle, castle. Um, okay, that's fine. Takes, knight takes. Hmm. Okay, bishop f6. Queen b5 attacks both pawns, if that, if that matters. Queen c4. Hmm. But, um, B6, right. Okay, rook B1. Um, if I can put the queen on D3, that would be great. Maybe knight A5 and I can get the queen on D3. Uh, knight a5, queen goes back to e2, rook e8. I'm getting a lot of, getting a lot of time on this queen. Knight a5, queen b5. But I can play knight a5 next move. There's nothing stopping me from playing knight a5 uh, anytime I want. So I'll put the rook on c8. b3, bishop b2. Is that the? I think that's his plan. He wants to play b3, bishop b2, and he couldn't do it with the rook on a1. Um, okay. Knight f5, queen b5, and I just don't, there's no, there's no way to kick that queen away. It's almost like we have to strike now with knight d4. But then bishop b2. And are we playing b5? I mean, it's possible to play b5. 
queen d3. I think I'll play knight d4 to play b5. He might take though. And then c takes. Oh, bishop takes. Okay. Uh, C takes opens up the C file, but the queen moves, and I don't think I gained anything from that. But um, for instance, C takes queen d3, and I didn't get anything. Queen takes will trade the queens. Um, maybe bishop takes. Check. And I think I, I can play queen f6, and therefore there is no bishop b2. Queen f6. And now there's no bishop b2, and black can can put a rook on d8 to target to target this pawn. Queen c2. He want he really wants to get bishop b2 in. Okay. But I think I can put a rook on e2 maybe. This rook can go to e2. Oh, queen d3, okay. So, um, the rook's under attack. And this is under attack. And, um, rook g2 doesn't work. You know, because rook g2, rook g2, king g2, even if you check, there's a, there's a queen block on f3, and, or rook block on f3, or he just runs. But, uh, I think, I think bishop b2's hanging, but this rook's hanging. So there's a problem there. Maybe just put the other rook on here. Control the e file. If bishop takes, we play c takes. Queen takes doesn't look like it's. Uh, it gets to a rook ending. I prefer to keep the pieces on. Oh, he hangs the, he hangs the queen. Okay. Good game. Victory.